Okay, we are going to discuss gowning and garbing procedures today. So there's a few things you have to make sure you take care of first. Number one, make sure your hair is out of your face. It needs to be pulled back. Gentlemen, if you have a beard or facial hair, you will need to wear a beard cover. Ladies, I'm sorry, but no makeup, no visible piercings. You also need clean and natural nails, which means no nail polish and no fake nails. You also need no jewelry, clean clothes that are lint free, and closed toed shoes. So what we're gonna do in here first is we are going to put on our mask, our hair bonnet, and then our shoe covers. So mask first. You want the pleats on the outside facing downward. Our fancy hair bonnet next. Make sure all the hair strands are tucked in. And then finally the shoes. They come in a ball like this, and you're gonna peel off two shoe covers. One, and two. As we put the shoe on, the foot will go on the clean side of the line of demarcation. And number two, and at this point, we're ready for hand washing. Okay, so we're in a different environment, but we're just using this sink as a demo to wash your hands. So you put on your face mask, your cover, your shoe booties. Now we're at a sink. Now, realistically, there would be a motion sensor or something you would knock your knee against to turn the water on. So in this case, I'm gonna have to turn it on by hand. We're gonna wet our hands first, put a little bit of soap and clean the nails using a nail pick. pick would go in the garbage. Now you're going to wet your hands from tip to elbow. Thirty seconds. Get in between each finger. Scrub really well. When it comes time to go down the arm, you do not want to go back up. One direction. Done. Second hand. And then rinse. And again, fingers do not go back. You're going to go one direction. And the water drips off your elbows, like so. Done. Drying. One towel per hand. And again, one direction. So we're going to go down. Done. Hands done. Okay, I'm still on the clean side of the line of demarcation. Our hands are clean. We had already applied some rubbing alcohol to our hands after we finished washing. Now while that dries, we're going to put the gown on. This is the one you will see for class demonstration. You have thumb holes. 
holes. They will be holes or loops that you want to make sure your thumbs go into. And lastly, tie the strings around your waist. Okay, we had done hand sanitizer. We had put our gown on. Now it's time for gloves. Now the gloves are sterile. I'm gonna put on, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put it on my left hand first. So this part is gonna be considered dirty because it's gonna go con in contact with my skin. So I'm gonna put this glove on first, halfway. Now I can safely touch the clean side of this glove to put my right hand inside the glove. Get your fingers in there and then slowly pull all the way down. Now, since this is still sterile, I can go in here and grab this glove and pull it all the way down. At this point, you would immediately sanitize your hands with isopropyl alcohol, 70%, and you wanna clean up your garbage. Now, which part of this is still sterile? You said the center, you're correct. So we're gonna pick it up by the center and now pick up all of our other trash and throw it away. You have just completed gowning and garbing. So now we are going to remove our gear. The gloves can come off first. I'm going to step to the dirty side of the line of demarcation and you are literally going to tear this away. Remove the bonnet, remove the booties. And of course the face mask if you want to remove the face mask. Okay, clean hands. We're now going to demonstrate a more realistic view of what you're going to see if you are working in a hospital rotation. I currently work at Cone Health, Moses Cone in Greensboro. And these are the actual suits we use. My boss gave me a few so I could come demonstrate for you guys. So after washing my hands and putting on hand sanitizer, I would reach for one of these. Ideally, there would be a bench here so I could sit and put this on safely. For now, we're gonna pretend we're gonna use a chair. And again, there are loops on the inside of these that your thumb is going to go through. So this is what you would actually be wearing if you work at Cone Health in the clean room in the IV room. Then you go right back to your sterile gloves and put them on the same way that we demonstrated before. And before entering the clean room, you must sanitize your hands with 70% isopropyl alcohol, along with doing it routinely as you're working in your hood.